Hi everyone, welcome to Integral Calculus. Today we explore lesson 7.3, Integration by Trigonometric Substitution, part two. Number one, trig sub requiring completing the square. Let's take a look at the example. Integral one over root of x squared minus 6x plus 13 dx to use trig substitution we have to turn the radicand into sum of two square or difference of two squares let's take a look at the radicand x squared minus six x plus 13 we can complete the square for this one so x squared minus six x we add minus six over two square we subtract the same thing minus six over two square plus 13 so that's give us x minus three square minus 9 plus 13. Mm -hmm. So we have x minus 3 square plus 4. Yay! The sum of 2 square. 1 over square root of x minus 3 square plus 4. The x, because there's the sum of 2 square, then we're going to use the trick sub. x minus three equal two tangent theta dx could be two second square theta d theta then square root of x minus three square plus four is root of Four tangent square theta plus four, which is root of four secant square theta, and this would just be two secant theta. We don't need the absolute value because I explained it in the previous video. Ta-da! Now let's do the substitution. Integral one over two secant theta dx is two secant squared theta d theta. We have integral of secant theta d theta, and the integral of secant theta is ln absolute value secant theta plus tangent theta. Plus C. Now to figure out second data in terms of X, we use the trig substitution. Tangent data is X minus three over two. Sketch out the right triangle with the angle data. Tangent is opposite over adjacent, so x minus three over two, using Pythagorean theorem. The hypotenuse is square root of x square minus six x plus 13. Yay, now we can do the substitution. We have ln secant is one over cosine, so that would be hypotenuse over adjacent root x squared minus six x plus 13 over two. Tangent theta is, well, we know it, x minus three over two. And ta-da, we have it. Let's move on to number two. 
geometric substitution with alternative geometric approach. Here we have a cool example. Integral zero to one square root x minus x square dx. Well, cannot do the use up, cannot do integration by Park, so it has to be trick substitution. The same thing here. We want to rewrite the radicand as the sum of two square or the difference of two squares. X minus X square is minus X square minus X. We're going to use the completed square minus X square minus X. Yay. I'm going to plus minus one of two square and minus the same thing. Okay, next we're gonna distribute the negative here into the very last term. So we have a x squared minus x plus minus one of two square minus minus this plus negative one of two squares one fourth. And inside the parenthesis, that quadratic we factor it out to be x minus one of two square, have a negative in front, and we can move the one fourth in front. Ah, so that's what we have. Integral zero to one. Square root one fourth minus x minus one of two square dx. And of course we use the trick sub. This look very familiar from the table. The substitution is x minus one of two is half of psi theta. That x minus one of two equal half of psi theta. dx is half of cosine theta d theta. And then we can do the square root of one fourth minus x minus one of two square, which is root of one fourth minus one fourth side square theta. And that would be square root one fourth cosine square theta. Have uh, one of two cosine theta. The reason why we don't need the absolute value is because of the explanation in the previous lesson. Now with the trick substitution, this would become the integral. One over two cosine theta multiplied to one over two cosine theta d theta. Well, the variable is in terms of theta, so we have to change the limit. Here, you see that the psi of theta is two times x minus one of two. So I mean, the angle of theta is arc psi up to x minus one, the upper limit is oxide two times one minus one, which is oxide of one, pi of two. The low limit is oxide two times zero minus one. Oxide of negative one is negative pi of two. Limit is negative pi of two, two pi of two. Yay, it's half of cosine square. And then because cosine square is even, huh? 
then we can write this as two times the integral from zero to pi of two, one fourth of cosine squared theta d theta. Reduce the power and we have two times one fourth integral zero to pi of two, half of one plus cosine two theta, d theta. Yeah, so we have a one fourth the integral of one is theta. Integral of cosine two theta, use the u sub, and we get the plus one over two, side two theta. Evaluate this one from zero to pi of two. One fourth pi of two plus, well, psi of two times pi of two is psi pi is zero. And then minus when you sub in zero, you're just gonna get zero plus psi of zero is zero. So it's gonna be zero, which give us pi over eight. Very nice. There is another way to solve this problem. Now let's go to the geometry approach. Only for some problem we can use this geometry approach. The integral zero to one root x minus x square dx is the area under the graph y equal to root x minus x square. Well, we need to figure out what is this graph here. Y equal root of x minus x square, huh? square both sides, we have y square equal to x minus x square. And so x square minus x plus y square equal to zero. I'm gonna do a complete in the square here. So x square minus x plus minus one over two square. I'm gonna read the same thing plus minus one over two square. Plus y square. Yeah. We can factor the x square minus x plus negative one of two square to x minus one of two square plus y square equal one fourth. Oh, what is this one? It is just a, a circle up center. One of two zero radius or equal to one of two. Ah, now let's draw the circle. X, Y. Let's get a nice circle here. This is the center of the circle here. One of two, zero. And the radius is one of two, so radius one. Okay. Y equal root of X minus X square is the upper half of the circle. So this Y equals root of X minus X square and the area under the curve is integral zero to one root of x minus x square dx. Well, this area is just half of area of the circle. So pi r square 
We just have a pi, we know R squared, one fourth. And that gives us pi over eight. Wow, pretty amazing. Thank you for watching. I hope you found the content useful. Please like and subscribe to help the channel grow. I will see you in the next video.